Living in a large extended family can bring with it a certain amount of chaos. Meet bush dog Franco, a serial dad of eight. He has definitely got what I'd call little man syndrome. Like, he thinks he's a lot bigger than what he is. I don't think we've ever had a bush dog as bold as him before. He likes to make his presence known. In the wild, bush dogs are usually monogamous. But three-year-old Franco plays by his own rules. He's already got a litter of one-year-old pups. With female, Mana. Mana, she is alpha female. And how it generally works is alpha male and female will be the only two that breed and the rest of the pack will be their offspring. But just a month ago, he had another litter of five pups. With Mana's sister, Japura. I guess he is a bit of a player in this situation. He's got these two ladies here and he's just thought, hmm, why not? <laughs> he's a naughty little dog. <laughs> Bush dogs are semi-aquatic and live in large family groups in the Amazon basin. You often hear, you know, members of the public like, oh, I want one, I want, I want one as a pet. Um, but yeah, you wouldn't want one as a pet. As cute as they are, they stink. <laughs> so you, you definitely wouldn't want one of them in your house. We like to be in a big pack. They, they are social animals, um, so you couldn't really keep one by itself. It wouldn't be, wouldn't be very happy on its own. At meal times, it's Franco's job to make sure all the pups get fed. This time of day when they know it's something good to get stuck into, whether it be rats, rabbits, bits of chicken now and then. But there will soon be even more mouths to feed because Franco has done it again. We've seen signs that we think Mano is pregnant again. You know, should it shouldn't happen really. He should just choose one and stick to that one. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Maybe there's certain things about each one that he likes. Mana's due any day now. But with Japura's pup still just weeks old, there are concerns about how she will react to the newborns. Having so many young pups in the pack from different mothers, Japura could be really negative about the situation. The Worst case scenario in this situation is that Japora could, could kill the pups from Mana. It's just one of those things where we'll have to wait and see what happens. A few weeks have now passed in the bush dog paddock and the adult dogs have gone to ground. This morning we haven't actually seen Mana. The normal thing to see is um, we call them over for their morning for their breakfast and and they'll all come running over and Frank will be right at the front, ready, ready to get his share. Um, and neither of them have really been seen. And the reason why soon becomes clear. Mana's given birth to two young pups who she's been weaning in the privacy of the den. Pups have started making an appearance. Just popping the heads out now and again. When you see the first one, it, it's fantastic. You know, you, you've got all the conditions right. You've done exactly what they what they needed, and by the looks of it, you've got a nice, healthy little baby bush dogs. Fears about how Japura would react to the pups have proved unfounded. The sisters are getting on really well, to be honest, considering they've both got litters from the same guy. Japura doesn't seem to be a to affect her. If anything, she's been helping as well. Yeah, it's working really well, this little dynamic we've got going. <laughs> but there's one dog who seems less pleased with the new arrivals. Franco's a bit all over the place, to be honest. 
the air, it can be a handful when you've got plenty more mouths to feed. Franco, now a dad of ten, has been avoiding his parental responsibilities, laying low at the other side of the paddock. And in his absence at mealtimes, order is breaking down. It should be Franco's job to, you know, take them the food, show them where we get the food from, until the pups are old enough and pick it up, really. Mana and Chapura are struggling to keep control. A few of the youngsters are kind of sharing a piece together, and now that one's fighting over it now. The older pups now are getting in there for the food, but that's where Franco should come in and stops them from taking things. But with Franco shirking his duties, it's Mana's two new pups who are missing out. Because they are still quite young, there is the risk that um, those pups won't survive, they won't get the attention that they need to survive. It's now been two days since bush dog dad Franco went AWOL. And Marna's two young pups have been struggling to get their share of the food. I guess for the, the younger pups, it's probably a bit tough, because you have got the old ones that are being a bit boisterous. You know, they are stronger, and they've kind of learnt, well, I'm hungry, I'm just going to get that food. The keepers have decided to act. Come on, Josh. They've tied up a chicken carcass to prevent the bigger pups from running off with all the meat. Hopefully, allowing the youngest two to get some food. Giving them a whole prior item with all the feathers and the guts and things like that is a lot more natural. In the wild, they would often take down prey together and eat together as pack. And it's just all encouraging natural behaviours, really. The adults go in, scope it out, yeah, it's food, it's safe. The older pups will come, and I think, you know, the, the younger pups kind of hang back a bit. Eventually, you know, they see it's all right, and then they'll get involved. It's just a big bush dog family meal. So far, so good at the minute. In the wild, bush dogs hunt in packs, taking large rodents such as capybara learning the skills they need from the older members of the group. Everyone got involved, which is great. Even the tiny new pups got involved. They have to learn to do these things. It's kind of survival of the fittest, really. The plan appears to have worked, but the team will have to keep a close eye on developments over the coming days. <laughs>